Hi, this is Matt in the library, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to find peer-reviewed articles. Now, why should you find peer-reviewed articles, though, or why are you being assigned to do that? Why are you being made to find them? Well, that's because peer-reviewed articles are written by experts in your field, so they're the most reliable, authoritative evidence you can use in your assignments. So if you want to find the strongest evidence to back up your claims and prove your points, most of the time, peer-reviewed articles are the way to go. Additionally, they're easy to cite. Peer-reviewed articles have all of their citation information, publication information, date, authors, everything in the library database in an easy-to-see format. So if you got to form a citation quickly, a lot easier than website most of the time. Now, why wouldn't you use peer-reviewed articles, though? Well, there might be situations where you also want to cite news articles. It's, if it's a very recent topic that happened in the past few days or weeks or, or, or that month, because it's a feature, not a bug, the peer-reviewed process can be long. So if you're talking about a recent topic, you might be able to use peer-reviewed articles to contextualize that. But if you're talking about the very specific events around a news topic, news articles are the way to go in those situations. Additionally, background information, often you just want to go to a book or a reference source uh, rather than a peer-reviewed article. Now, the exception might be the literature reviews can often be helpful for background information, but often those are pretty focused on whatever the article is going to talk about. If you're looking for really comprehensive background information, you need to find some you know, basic history, statistics, and so on. Reference materials are the way to go. Speaking of statistics, general statistics like population and demographics, you'll probably want to find on the web or other statistical resources. Uh, Peer-reviewed articles will report the data in that particular study, uh, but they're not going to have interactive comprehensive tables that you can customize in a specific way. You know, For that, you're going to, again, want to go for more statistics-focused resources rather than a specific study. But you know, given those exceptions, for most assignments at PG, you could do really well by seeking out some recent peer-reviewed research and articles. Now, why did I spend so much time talking about why you should find articles from peer-reviewed journals? That's because limiting your results to peer-reviewed only articles is pretty straightforward. So from our homepage in the search box there, EBSCO Discovery Service, type in your keywords, and then click the option next to peer reviewed that will limit all of your results to just articles from peer reviewed journals only. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Now that we have results up, all of these results are from peer reviewed journals. I can verify that by looking for the peer reviewed option. If you ever forget to click the option from our homepage, there is the option to limit to peer reviewed after you search too, and oftentimes, I'll actually start without it clicked just to see, okay, what's the general amount of information I can find on this topic from any type of source, whether it's a book or a news uh, source or, or other, uh, and then I'll limit to peer review you know, once, once I'm ready to do that. The option to limit to peer review is also similar in ProQuest databases. It's next to a search box, you just click peer reviewed and then it will limit to peer reviewed only there as well. And that's it. That's all you got to do to find peer-reviewed research articles. This video touched on why to use peer-reviewed articles and how to limit your results to them. But for more tips like keyword strategies to help narrow the articles to the topics you're interested in, please check out the other tutorials in our videos and tutorials section or reach out to us at library at purdueglobal.edu.